It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. Yes. Believe it or not, this is progress. But Logan, if you're gonna talk seriously about racial injustice, fucking move, Squirtle! Get the beanie babies out of here, Logan! Yeah. Yeah. Squirtle! 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 Squirtle. Squirtle. Oh, it's a Pokemon! It's a stuffed oh, animal! Oh, 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 All right, jokes aside, guys, as you know, we took last week off from the vlogs as we tried to uh, push the message of equality. In case you didn't see my video, I'm stunned that we even have to still push that message. But apparently we do, and I will not be on the wrong side of history. I'm gonna make sure you fucking people vote. Because we made a lot of noise last week, went to the protests, we had the viral videos. But the biggest thing to actually enact change is gonna be meaningful follow-up. So basically, if you see a racist person, punch them in the fucking throat. <laughs> Don't do that. Ah, yeah, actually probably do that. And then we just gotta vote, because the correct thing to do here is make sure we're putting people in office that will give us the change that we so desperately and unfortunately need. So yeah, register to vote. I'm gonna do it. I know it's kind of tedious. We gotta fucking do it. All right, I'm done preaching. Thank you guys for listening. If you listened, if not, fuck you. All right, <laughs> let's get back to the vlog. I'm, I'm sorry, what? I was having phone sex with my girlfriend last night and I'm going down and I moved and it threw my back out. She was like, right, did you finish? I'm like, no, no. Don't tell that story to anyone, please. George apparently learned how to do a backflip yesterday. And he's he convinced it. that he could he do it, it right now. Watching you do these backflips makes me want to see if I can still do it. Last time I did a backflip, my brother still had a Disney show. Actually, the last time I did a backflip, I was it was on his Disney show. Yo, it's been like three years. Bro, I'm an old man now. I'm 25. Bro, All right, fine, fine. What's the worst that could happen, guys? Right? Wow. I'm gonna be honest. The only reason I think I was able to do that was because of my Maverick clothing. Go to MaverickClothing.com. <laughs> I wake up this morning. There's a fucking hole in the ground. Did you guys hear about this fucking hole? Oh! <laughs> what the? Fuck? <laughs> Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Careful, careful. Huh. Hey! All right, can I be honest with you? It's a two-dimensional painting. I, I had a 3D artist by the name of Tracy Lee Stump come and paint this. We're gonna do a little interior renovation here because we finally got rid of the $90,000 couches, thank God. Which are now worth probably next to nothing because the dude, Eric, who bought them went couch surfing, literally. Dropped them out of an airplane and then blew them up. But now we got this hole in the ground. You gotta balance and you won't fall down the wall. So I don't know if y'all know this, during quarantine, Nintendo Switches have been like really hard to get. All of my roommates and friends have been bored as fuck and they all want one, but they haven't been able to find one. I get it now. Nope. I'll take it. <laughs> Whoa. Where did you find that? Do you want this? I do. Too bad. No. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> so I'm gonna get everyone together, sit them all down, and then I'm gonna put a note card in front of them. I'm gonna count down and have them flip it over. Now whoever reveals the black circle gets a switch. Little do they know, they're all gonna if you reveal this black circle, you get the Nintendo Switch. I feel like I almost see a black circle. <gasps> no, it's not! No, it's not! It's not, it's not, it's not. All right. Three, two, one. Oh! You can switch! You can switch! You can switch! Why'd you do this for everyone? Because I love you people. Because we don't deserve you. You're absolutely right, but I still love you. The past week, all I've done was get in trouble for my girlfriend for not paying enough attention to her. Something tells me it's about to get way worse. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Josie, your boyfriend's the man. He's a provider. You are a provider, baby. Yeah. I'm a provider, yeah. No jobs for everyone. Wait, so what do I have to do? Buy a game? They're $100. Oh, 100 fucking dollars? Now I got a fucking console with no games on it. What's the point of this? What should I use as a paperweight? <laughs> fuck you and fuck your stupid bullshit. I'm out of here.